Hi everyone, it's Latin Roses. Is coconut oil really bad for you? This stuff, could it be bad for you? Coconut oil's been getting a lot of bad press lately here in the West. And I kind of think it's maybe because it's really amazing. And, and here in the West, we kind of seem to put money and profit before people. So this video disclaimer is, this is about my experience with coconut oil, how it's helped me, how it keeps me healthy and my pets healthy. So if you want to see how it's worked for me and my dogs, yes, I said my dogs, stay tuned and I'll tell you all about it next. Let me show you the coconut oil I use. I always use an organic virgin coconut oil. For those of you who follow me on my channel, you know I am a big Sam's Club shopper. That's one of my favorite places to shop in bulk and save a lot of money with my family. So I get my organic virgin olive oil, I mean, sorry, coconut oil, wrong oil, coconut oil from Sam's Club. And this is the one I use the Marks members, this is the Sam's Club brand. Let's start with the antibacterial properties that coconut oil possesses. Whenever I break out in a rash, or I'm itching, or I have a cut, I will apply some coconut oil, and the next day, I'm so much better. I had a rash, and it was bothering me. I'm gonna put some coconut oil on it, and the next day, it was gone. I also had a cut that I think my dog scratched me and I kept messing around with it. And I think it was starting to get infected, so I cleaned it really well. And then I applied coconut oil uh, for the next couple of days. The redness disappeared and it healed, you know, without putting a band aid on it. So that was pretty amazing to me. Um, I think coconut oil gets a bad rap from, you know, the people out here in the West because it could put a lot of people out of business because it does a lot of amazing things. I also use it on my skin to remove my makeup every night. So I don't have to spend money on fancy products or fancy soaps to take my makeup off. And it takes everything off from my eyeliner, my eyeshadow, my foundation. And I wear a really heavy, thick foundation because of my rosacea. I'm sorry, my um, melasma. And for those of you who don't know what that is, like when you have dark pigmentation in your skin. Usually it comes from hormonal changes when you're pregnant. I have that. And so I wear a really thick makeup and the coconut takes it right off. I also use it for lotion. I don't have to buy lotion, the fancy lotions anymore. At first it's a little bit greasy, honestly, for a few seconds and then it goes away. I don't mind because it does the job. It's natural. There's no chemicals added and it just keeps my skin soft supple. I don't need to purchase any fancy lotion. So that's another uh, industry that might go out of business if everybody did that. And it might not be for everybody, but I like it and it works for me. Also, it's been helping me with my teeth. Uh, every time I go to the dentist, I'd have to spend a long time in the dental chair with them taking out uh, all the tartar buildup that I would always get. And I started getting a lot of redness on one side of my gum, the bottom gum. And my dentist said eventually I might need a root canal. So I started looking into some natural remedies and wouldn't you know it, coconut oil came up as a natural remedy. So whenever I would get pain in my gum, I would apply the coconut oil and literally in minutes it would be gone. And then I started going one step further. I started uh, brushing my teeth with a baking soda toothpaste mixture that I'd make and then I would do oil pooling and oil pooling my version of it with coconut oils. I just put a couple tablespoons full, a mouthful of coconut oil and swish it around for as long as I can hold it in my mouth. And then I spit and rinse it out. And what I noticed is I took some dental floss and a dental pick and the tartar that I had building up again in the front bottom teeth literally just popped off so easy. I'm not a dentist, I'm not saying this will help you, but this is what it did for me. And with the, with the dental floss, after I used the pick, it just, most of it, majority of it came off. And that was just two weeks of oil pulling. And the redness on the side where my gum is has lightened a lot. It's not gone yet, because I've only been oil pulling for a couple weeks, but it has 
improve my condition, my teeth haven't been hurting as much, and I will continue to use oil pulling. I've done a lot of research on oil pulling, and a lot of people, especially on YouTube, will tell you they have cured their cavities, and that's right, they've cured their cavities, and they've healed their gum disease with oil pulling using coconut oil. So that could also put another industry out of business if everybody started using coconut oil to heal themselves or restore their health. I'm not saying it will, but I'm saying this worked for me and it's worked for lots of other people. Also, I use coconut oil on my pets, my dogs. Yes, I said my dogs. And I had one dog when I first got him as a puppy. He had a lot of those hot spots where little circle patches of fur was missing. And he had to go to the vet for his shots and the vet recommended I purchase some type of cream to help heal those hot spots. And I told the, I declined and I told the vet very politely that I'm, I don't need it. I've been using coconut oil. He became very upset with me and he said he doesn't believe in that and it could get worse and he really strongly recommended I get the cream. Well, I didn't get the cream and I continued using the coconut oil on my dog because I noticed that just from the few days I did it, they started to shrink. My, my dog healed on its own with coconut oil, didn't need to buy the cream and the hot spots went away. Now he had no more balding spots. He was uh, just a healthy dog full of fur. I also use the coconut oil after all my dog's baths as a natural flea and tick remedy. And it also conditions their skin when they have rashes. Whenever my dogs have any redness around the eyes I, or fever, I actually uh, slather a little bit of coconut oil like by their eyes. If they have ear infection, they can tell because they're inflamed and they're red. I put a little coconut oil on them. If they're ever feeling sick and they seem to be vomiting, I give them just a tiny bit you can't give dogs too much coconut oil because they will actually vomit it up. It's like too much of a good thing is not good for them, like anybody else in moderation. Just a tiny bit of coconut oil and in a couple of days, usually by the next day, they are much improved and they're no longer vomiting. So I'm not a veterinarian. I'm not saying it's safe for your pets, but I'm saying this is what I choose to do for my pets and it saved me a lot of money in veterinarian bills. So that would be another industry that might lose a lot of money if people start treating their dogs naturally with coconut oil. So I'm just saying this is what I do. This is what helps me and my pets. It saves me lots of money. It does restore health as far as I'm concerned. I've seen it happen in myself and in my dogs. And I've heard a lot of other people that they've had the same amazing results. So in my opinion, coconut oil is amazing. It is not bad for you. I cook with it on occasion and I know people that eat it. I just do the oil pulling. I don't eat it. I don't cook with it a lot, but I might start doing that as well. But I really find that this is good stuff, people. I haven't bought lotion in a few years. I haven't had any really major problems with my teeth or my skin it seems to look better after using the coconut oil. So you can decide, but I'm just putting the information out there for you. So if you like this video, hit like. If you want to stay in touch, subscribe. And if you want to uh, ask me more questions, you could ask me and follow me on my Instagram, at Latin Roses. Also, I have a Facebook page, Latin Roses. You can follow me on there too. And as always, people, I wish you love, peace, and joy. Do you like being on camera? Do you like being on camera? Yeah, they like being on camera. Bye. Peace.